Hi guys, this is Pestilli and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. Today I'm talking about the marked room with the changes recently and uh, if it's worth doing. So I've got myself a marked key, did the 25 runs and here is the feedback. So without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So first up, the changes to the marked room have been quite significant in some ways. Uh, for example, if you find a docks case in the past, you'd be able to find items with inside it. If you were to find the new key card holder, it might have a red key card in there. And if you had found a wallet in there, it might have a certain item in there. On top of that, also certain cases have been removed. For example, the mags case is no longer available inside the marked room. And therefore, some of the items are no longer as popular or able to get in there, which has increased the prices of the value for crafting of them, which is cool. But at the same time, has made it so the marked room has changed quite significantly. So my tactic was I went and got a marked key, did 25 runs. The recordings will be on in the background so you can see it. You're not just looking at my face this whole time. And then I calculated exactly how much money I made from each run and put it in a spreadsheet. I'll likely just put a link to the spreadsheet down below if you want to know every single item I got, or you can just take my word for it. Um, but the value of all 25 runs minus one, because I lost a recording, so it was 24 runs, was 6.9 million rubles. Now, that is the uh, flea market cost or the vendor cost, whichever is the, was the more at the time. And the notable items that I got was one dog tag case, five document cases, which one of them was a double document case. I found two ammo cases and a key tool. Now, if you were to find more key tools, that would give you a big jump in value. If you were to find the new injector case, that would also give you a big jump in value because the injector case and the key tool are worth so much more than document cases and ammo cases. The tactic in which I did each of these raids to make sure I got all that loot was I cleared all of two-story and three-story dorms, looted all the safes and the jackets, and then at the end, the very last thing I would do is loot the marked room, grab the loot, and extract. I only died in one of these 25 raids, and if the car was there, I'd have the money ready to go to take the car out at the end of lo looting everything. Otherwise, I then would just have, it already would have been in the raid 20 minutes, and then ran towards the extract. Now, obviously, with my 24 runs being at 6.9 million rubles, it works out to be around 290,000 rubles per run on those 24. Um, so we could round it up to about 7.2 million rubles in total for the 25 runs if we're gonna go off the average. And this is only a small taste really. You probably wanna do a few hundred runs to really get the actual true average. 25 runs in my opinion doesn't give you the true value. Um, if anything, a thousand runs would probably be better. But by the time I do a thousand runs, I'm sure BSG would change it again. So then let's just go with the 25 from here. Now, if I was to find key tools more or whatever, it would change the values quite a lot. But therefore, if you're going to buy a marked key, I would honestly not spend more than about three to four million rules at most on buying a marked key. Now, I got my marked key from barter trading six graphics cards, which at the time were worth 500,000 rubles each, which was three million rubles. I think if you push it up to about four million rubles worth of loot, that would be all right. But um, this is how I did it. Anything after that, I think would be probably risky not even come out even um but who knows you might just absolutely kill it and make heaps anyway i think this is probably the same principle with the marin key and the uh hillside key on lighthouse i wouldn't invest much more than three or four million rubles because by the time you do all the runs you uh might not make your money back and so therefore that's probably about the base limit of where i would say you'd want to spend the money for these keys Besides, if you just wanted to have bragging rights. Hopefully, this video was informative for you. If you enjoyed it, like and comment for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe, notification bell. Help us get towards that million subs. And lastly, guys, I'll see you next time.